Welcome to Understand. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of navigating inside of Understand. Let's start off with a project that I've already created and look at a function that I'd like to know more about named DoCall. To find this function, I'll go first to the Entity filter on the left side of the screen and then select Functions from the dropdown. This will give me a list of all the functions in this project and I can search for the function I want. If I click on Do Call, the information browser below will be populated for this function. If I then double click on Do Call, we'll see where that function is defined in the source code here to the right in the editor. If I want to now visualize Do Call with graphs, charts, or metrics, I can simply right click on the function. It's important to note here that the option to right click is widely available to understand. So if you ever need more information about an entity or want to customize a view, try right clicking to see what options are available. For the do call function, let's say I want to see what it calls. To do this, I just right click on its name, hover over graphical views, and then select calls to see the calls graph. We can see all the calls here, but this is a lot more information than I need to see right now. So to simplify this graphical view, I'll just right click in the white space of the graph, go down to levels, and then select just one or two levels. If I then want to see more information about a specific branch, I can click the red dot to the right of any entity. Clicking the dot again will collapse that back down. Let's say I found what I wanted to see here about the do call function, and now I need to get information on the get token function being called. I will simply click on the get token node, and understand will populate my information browser here on the left side of the screen with information about this function. The information browser is one of the key features in understand and shows all the information the understand has about this particular function. Right now, we are looking at the function get token, so we can see here where it's defined, the calls. We can walk down the call tree. As we keep going down, we can also see all the references to it and the metrics for this particular function. All of the entities you see here are hyperlinked. So if I double click on a function in the information browser, I can look back to the editor and see where in the source code it is defined. I can also do that from the calls graph as well. Now at this point, let's say I remember something that I wanted to see with get token. I can simply use the back arrow in the toolbar at the top to take me back through the history of the editor. I can also do the same thing inside of the information browser using the arrows located there. That covers the basics of navigating inside of Understand. If you'd like to learn more about getting started with Understand, we have several other videos on our website that you can watch at scitools.com support.